everybody, this is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and Peak Performance, a multidisciplinary health and wellness center where for the last 20 years we've helped our clients to achieve optimal health, peak performance, and to pursue their own personal greatness. I'm also the author of exactly that title, Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, a blueprint for life balance and self-mastery. It's available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, and Chapters Indigo in Canada. In addition to that, I've also created this. Really proud of it, because it's something I believe in. It's the Journey to Personal Greatness Journal. It's pages in here, empty pages, blank pages that you can put on there, your design, your plan for your life, and also to reflect the problem is in our society is we're so inundated with information and being connected that we never stop, we never have a chance to reflect, meditate, contemplate. And when we go through life and we quote unquote make these mistakes, they aren't actually mistakes. They're just ways that you figured out how to do it better the next time. But if you never stop and reflect, you'll never figure that out. How I don't have to repeat this action again or go through this experience again, ex maybe not in the same level of pain that you went through it the first time. So I believe in journaling. And this, the only way you can get to your personal greatness, part of it, one of the only ways is to stop, reflect, put it on paper, and then go back and look at it and, and start seeing your patterns that are being repeated. So here it is. I created Journey to Personal Greatness Journal where you can stop and do just that. So. That is my little mix right now of greatness tools to put in your knapsack. Call us, visit our website, email us, and we will hook you up. All right, now on to the main topic here. This is called Short and Sweet. It's the beginning of the year, and guess what the title is? I'm talking about it on Facebook and Instagram and our website. We're gonna do articles and send them out PDF. And also, it's a focus of our podcast. It's called How to Stay Focused, because this is 2016. What I don't want, and I've been in the gym industry, I worked in the gym industry about 20 odd years ago, and what I notice, and it's still going on, it's still a phenomena, people get started at January 1st, 2nd, the first week, the gyms are just absolutely packed. And by about February, and I don't know why we keep doing this little phenomena, the fitness bubble, it pops. By about February, the gyms are empty again and we're going back to mediocrity. So I wanna talk about four things you can do, all my personal greatness seekers, what you can do to keep focus and stay on your game for 2016. So we're gonna cover four key points. One, know your why, make a plan, run your own race and take action. All right, number one, it's key. Know your why. Why are you joining the gym this year? Why are you looking to change your life? Why are you looking to get in better shape? Why are you looking to eat better and have a wholesome, healthy life? It sounds easy, but why do you think of a, we are not achieving it? Because our why isn't clear. It's, it seems easy that, oh, I wanna be healthy, but maybe that doesn't mean anything to you at the, at the core. It should. But why, do, why doesn't it? Why haven't you changed before? Because you gotta go back to your why. Maybe your why is your kids, maybe it's not. For me, I'm very competitive. So my why staying in shape is not about anybody else, but competing. I love competing, and to compete, I find out you have to be in the best shape of your life. So I stay in the ball game. I stay, every morning I'm, I'm ritualistic. I get up and I do my workout. I keep mindful of eating the right foods. I'm not a fanatic about it, but I'm mindful of it. So I managed to stay at 48 years old this year, I managed to stay in pretty good shape and I can get what I want done with good energy. So again, what's your why? Now number two, make a plan. Without a plan, it's just a daydream, it's a wish. You gotta have a plan, put it down on paper. If it's your fitness goal, how many reps are you gonna do, what body parts is the most one you wanna work, how much weight do you wanna lose, what kind of foods you wanna eat. There's so many things, but if you have a plan, and don't make your plan on the day of, make your plan on Sunday. What meals are you gonna eat for the week? Uh, for me, for instance, Thursdays and Wednesdays, my fish day, I love eating my salmon on Wednesdays, salmon, some vegetables. On Thursday, it's gonna be my liquid and light day. I re reduce all my heavy foods at my, so my organs can have a break. And Sunday is my cheat day with my family because that's the day I hang out with my family. So what is your plan? Get a plan for anything that you wanna do. You gotta get a plan. 
Next one is run your own race. Here's the problem with today's society with social media. We're on, here we are on social media looking at everybody, scrolling through, and everybody's life seems to look better than yours. Everybody seems to be in better shape than you. Everybody seems to have more money than you. Everybody seems to be enjoying a vacation more than you. But let me tell you, as the old saying goes, not all that glitters is gold. Stop looking at other people's life. Focus on your own life. Run your own race within your own limits. Because I'm, I'm moving to terming Facebook now as fake book. Because I actually find when I start talking to someone live and in person, it's nothing like their life that they portray on Facebook. So again, run your own race. Number four, the big one. This is huge take action and not just one day consistent action what can you do and even just even if it's to walk around the block at least you did it your brain starts to get used to you doing something on a regular basis that's how you break habits is taking action stress the antidote to stress the antidote to frustration taking action even small ones and they lead to bigger ones and momentum builds so again take action so let me review them know your why what is your why for doing what you want to do why you want to make change Make a plan to get it done. Run your own race, your specific race. Don't worry about anybody else because not all that glitters is gold. And four, take action, massive and consistent action. And, and you know, not even, I'm gonna take back the massive. Let's take any action. Just get in motion and get things going. So this is Alvin Brown. This is Journey to Personal Greatness, the Center for Healing and Peak Performance. Visit our website, www.journeypersonalgreatness.com, tchp.com. Any way we can help you to get on your journey to personal greatness, that is my goal, that's my team's goal. Just give us a call, give us an email, get in contact with us, and let's get your journey started. And as I'll always say, be relentless in the pursuit of your personal greatness.